What's going on squad? Welcome back to another episode of season three. In this video, we are gonna be taking a look at my personal top five favorite runs from um, last season. This isn't necessarily the top five most difficult runs. However, there does seem to be a correlation between the level of difficulty of the run and where it ranks in terms of one of my favorites. But for the most part, these are just runs that really stuck out to me last year. And basically just were overall a impactful and memorable run for whatever reason. Number five starts out right here in my backyard at Park City Mountain Resorts up at Jupiter. This is basically the upper mountain or expert terrain at Park City Mountain. And this was the first day that Jupiter had opened for the year. So it's just kind of a, um, a special day in general for this season. And then at Jupiter, you can go right underneath the lift in the main bowl. And there tends to be a few different rocks or cliffs you could hit. So this was my first run at Jupiter for the year on the first day that it opened up. And we went basically just right underneath the lift line, right off one of my favorite hits, which is called M Rock, right underneath the lift. And it was just a great way to sort of set the tone, not only for the day, but also just for the season in general. We'll take it. Number four was a bit surprising to myself even, but we are heading east out to Aspen Highlands in Colorado. Probably the most notable feature of the Highlands is hiking to the Highlands Bowl. This is really only accessed by about an hour long hike up the ridge. And I don't really know exactly why this ranks amongst one of my most favorite runs of the year. I think it had something to do with just sort of like the party atmosphere at the top, the amount of people that were up there. But I think the coolest part of it was with all those people at the top, when I dropped in, it felt like I kind of had the entire bowl to myself. So it almost gave it like this competition feel where you're up top with a bunch of people and then you drop in and I had this, this whole thing to myself. So we went right in off the top. I believe we did a run called Full Curl, which I think had a max um, pitch steepness of 44 degrees and was an, on average about a 37 degree pitch all the way down. And it was just one of those runs where it was super wide open, super big. The snow was really chalky and it's hard to beat sometimes when you have an, a really open face where you can really get on the edge of your ski um, on a nice mellow pitch. So it's just one of those runs when I was skiing it, I was just so stoked. Um, and just kind of one of those experiences as, as a whole with the hike that really stuck with me after last year. Oh, it's nice. Super chalky. Careful. Oh man, this is good. This is delicious. Let's go. Make get a little bit messier. Just scope a bit. Looks like some more chalk in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, fast chalk. Beautiful. Open it up. There we go. Man. So right down that face, it's gorgeous. In my opinion, number three was the run that got forgotten last year. I did this on the third day of the season for me, which is pretty insane to do, in my opinion. Up at Alta, you can hike what's called the Baldy Chutes. And third day of skiing, I didn't even have my Montec gear yet to show you guys just how early this was in this season as a whole. I think it was like one of the first days of December and skied main shoot, which main shoot is, I think this is another 44 degree pitch. And um, it's not super narrow, but it's a kind of a cool feeling skiing it because you're kind of surrounded by rock croppings on either side. And it's just wide enough, you know, to get some 
a solid solid turn in there but at the same time uh, you do get going pretty quick and it's like a solid like minute of just of just ripping down the chute from the top and then you kind of dump down into um i don't know exactly what the bowl is called but then you dump down into alto this is one of those runs that i feel like should be on every skier's bucket list and the fact that we did it third day in just kind of on our by ourselves on a friday with really low snow snowpack for day three of the season this was a pretty special all right dropping Pretty good, yeah. right? Yeah. Have a good day, man. Going over the ridge to Snowbird, this run right here could likely be uh, number one. It was probably the most technical, most difficult, most exhilarating, most scary run that I did all year long. If you guys have ever skied the Cirque and you've kind of peeked your head over as you're skiing down, you might have come across this. It almost looks like it's unskiable from the top. I think the nickname of this might be Death Shoot or Elevator, one of the two. There's a two shoots right next to each other, shot 15 and shot 16. But shot 15 is basically uh, you need to be really precise with where you're actually putting your skis and you just kind of drop off the cornice and it quite literally just feels like you're, you're free falling from the top um, all the way until, I don't know, I would say it's probably the distance traveled might be 30 to 40 feet by the time you drop off the cornice to when you actually set an edge to get out of there. But you reach speed so in incredibly quickly because you're, you're literally just dropping, it feels like through the sky. Um, and then you really need to focus on getting the turn and not uh, running into the, the rocks below you. So this is kind of a run that I've always looked at as a kid going to Snowbird. And so the fact that we just kind of went in and sent it was uh, probably the best feeling of the entire year. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, drop it. Keep it together, keep it together. Let's go, baby. Let's go, woo! There it is. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, it was just right over that, that rock. And lastly, taking the number one spot, this might not be a surprise to some people, but um, this is Hell Roar at Big Sky Mountain Resort. This is one of their triple black diamonds off the headwaters. One, the hike itself was probably the one of the most crazy hikes I've ever done in terms of getting into the chute, putting our skis on. The whole thing was just, was pretty hair raising. But perhaps the best part of this whole thing, apart from even the skiing, the run itself is its own, is its own thing. But this was my dad's 61st birthday. And so to be able to do this with my dad, turning 61, who's just been essentially the reason why I ski in the first place and is just a huge influence in my life as a whole. Some of you guys know him as Papa Joe here on the channel, but to be able to do that with your dad at 60, 61 years old was it just made the experience one of the best really in my life. And then not even to mention the skiing itself was pretty insane. The line that I chose, when you watch the entry of this clip, my, my tails actually uh, scrape the rock as I drop in through this like sh uh, uh, narrow shoot up at the top. So it's just like when you get in that position, I don't know how steep it was. It's probably another 40 to 45 degree pitch. You have to be so precise with 
um, like your knee angulation, how you're setting your edge, and it's just like the slightest bit of inaccuracy can really uh, put you for a loop. And in a situation like this, like it's essentially a no fall zone where if you do fall, you will just, you know, for the most part, just fall all the way down the shoe. And yeah, it's kind of like the culmination of my ski career and um, everything that my dad taught me over my years of skiing. <laughs> How you doing, boss? You all right? It gets real narrow in here, Joe. Let's go, Joe. All right. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking sick. Keep it going all the way. Let's go. Keep it going. Sick job, dude. Happy wow. birthday, dude. Hell yeah, wow. dude. That was stupid. <laughs> no, that was. That was stupid. Dude, you crushed it. It was honestly hard to just pick five runs from our incredible season. I could honestly spend an hour here just going through different runs that, that were, were pretty rad in, in one way or the other. But I do have two honorable mentions that I think are kind of worth talking about. The first one is from Jackson Hole Resort. This is Elta Shoot number two. If you've been up to Jackson on the sublet chair and you've skied Elta Shoot number two, you'll probably appreciate this more than what the video will show. The main reason why I didn't include this in the top five is because it's actually not a head cam POV video. It's from my selfie stick. So I think the steepness of this gets um, flattened out more than usual because of how it is shot. But looking back at it, this is one of those shoots at Jackson that's, that's pretty sick. It's not long by any means, but it is extremely steep. This is another one of those shoots that I think is worth putting on your your list if you ever are are up at Jackson. Yeah, every time I watch this, I just I can't help but laugh. to show some love for a California trip. So the last run in this video, the last honorable mention is from Alpine Meadows. I think this area is called the Counterweight Gully. I had this resort almost all to myself in this just insane pow day, wind, no visibility. Um, and so I did this hike. I couldn't, I couldn't even say, I didn't know where I was. I did this hike off the lift to, I guess what is called Counterweight Gully and just had like this epic run down the trees, it felt like I was just in a nice little shoot here in some beautiful snow. And it was at that moment, I remember skiing down here like, wow, I'm, I actually chased this storm. It all worked out. 
and now I'm enjoying sort of reaping the, the rewards of, of this stressful trip because that whole trip was probably the most stressful thing I've, trip I've ever done with Luna. Again, when I think back at this season, can't help but uh, remember the Alpine Meadows Pow Day. Like I mentioned, every resort that we went to had its own set of runs that um, really just stick out above the rest. But you know, we would be here for an hour or two just looking at different runs. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the runs. Again, I'm not claiming that these are the like most difficult runs or or whatever. These are just runs that stuck out to me. They all carry their own sort of special meaning for one reason or the other. So thanks for watching. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.